A high Brent tech year where tech is made simple. So in a bid to improve security, Microsoft has recently posted a guide on how to go passwordless using your Microsoft account um, in Windows 10 and Windows 11. And uh, in case you're unaware, just a quick recap. When you go passwordless on Windows 10 and Windows 11, you have to use um, Windows Hello, which obviously then will allow you to authenticate your sign-in uh, using um, facial recognition or fingerprint recognition or uh, using a PIN. Now, I, I actually use a PIN on Windows 10 and Windows 11. I actually find it a lot simpler than having to type in a password as an example all the time. Um, my devices don't support fingerprint or facial recognition, so I find a PIN uh, is quite handy. And the reason I like the PIN is, over and above being just a lot quicker than typing in a password, it actually does bring an extra layer of security because it differentiates um, your PIN, as an example, to specific, uh, specific devices. So you can have different PINs on different devices. So it differentiates your uh, Microsoft account password from, as an example, your PIN on your different devices. So I actually think it brings an extra layer of security over and above being a lot quicker and easier when you are signing in. Now, basically, um, uh, Microsoft has explained the benefits uh, in this post, and I'll leave that post down below in the description if you'd like to go check it out. They say, and I'm quoting, once you remove the password option, all features on your device that require your Microsoft account and password, include, including various apps and web browsers, will seamlessly, they say, transition uh, to using Windows Hello, facial recognition, fingerprint identification, or a PIN code. Now, something just to take note of here is that this option is only available when you sign in using your Microsoft account. So if you are signing into Windows 10 or Windows 11 using a local account, you won't have access to um, going passwordless in both operating systems. Now, just to show you how to do this in case you're unaware, and I'm going to start with Windows 11, and then we'll move on to Windows 10. So in Windows 11, we head to our settings, navigate to your accounts page. On the accounts page, head to sign in options. On the sign in options page, here you'll see under additional settings for improved security, only allow Windows Hello sign in for Microsoft accounts on this device, which is recommended. And you can toggle the, the setting on if it, ha if it hasn't done so already. And then once that's on, you can set up facial recognition if your device supports it fingerprint recognition if your device supports it and you can also sign in with a pin which i do on both windows 10 and windows 11 as mentioned and then once you've um, done that the next time you sign into your device you won't have the option to use your password only the windows hello face fingerprint or pin gestures will be available so just take note of that now that's how we do it um, on windows 11 and how we do it on Windows 10, it's a little bit different. And I took the screenshot on my Windows 10 device before posting, just to give you an idea. So on Windows 10, you would head to your settings, sign-in options. On the sign-in options page, you'll find the setting under require Windows Hello sign-in for Microsoft accounts, which is recommended. Toggle that on. So that's a very similar process, just slightly different on Windows 10. And just to give you a practical example how this works in case you were unaware, if I head over to one of my Edge browsers and I want to view a password, you'll see it'll ask me for my PIN. Or if you're using facial recognition or fingerprint, it'll do the same. So there we go. That's just a quick example of how this works once that's set up, which I actually think is a nice move. And as mentioned, um, Microsoft has in a bid to um, improve security. Microsoft now has posted this guide which will be down below in the description, how to go passwordless on Windows 10 and Windows 11. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.